French team. And support for Hong Kong China from the local crowd. Referees, Du Huanzhong, Republic of Korea. Men's Bethlehem Hedriska, Denmark. Assistance, Dora Delay, Hungary. For Yeski Yaroslav, Poland. Please start the bell. So high fives all round, and we will get things going with this gold medal match. It's Chung Kar Long that will start. They're on the left-hand side of the uh, scoring sheet. So uh, Chung Da Anka, the Olympic champion, will start first, and then we'll fence uh, fifth and ninth. Loisel is the anchor for France. Met uh, Chung Kar Long in the final in the individual competition. Lost that one to the Olympic champion. It was tight though. So France will believe. Alexandre Sido is plugging in there for France, 26 years old. 79th in the world. It's been on the circuit for a few years now, Sido. On the edges of that uh, four man French team to go to world championships. Now, the French have to be wary that Hong Kong don't run away with this and develop such a lead in the early period that they can't catch back up. They have Choi and Chung, Chung Ka Long. Both medalists in the individual contest. Chung, the Olympic champion from Tokyo. And doing great work so far against Alexandra Sido. First point on the board there for France. And the French will be hoping that they have some joy against uh, against Li Yatlong, the 22-year-old, world ranked 127th in the world. So the, uh, the Hong Kong team have uh, two really strong established fences. Chung Ka Long is world class. He's the Olympic champion, seventh in the world. And Choi uh, Chun Yin, 23rd in the world. He's up there. Uh, he's had silver medals in Grand Prix. But then they have the reserve. Uh, Lok Wang Lawrence, 23 years old, 123 in the world. 
and Li Ya Long. So good work from Sido to get back into this. Alexander Sido just asking uh, the referee from Korea, Du Hua Yong, to have a look at that one. But off target from Chung, so no points scored. Whoever scores the next hit, and it is Chung, will take us through to the second leg with a one-point lead, 5-4. So. On for France, it's Loisel. Loisel, well, he um, had an interesting and he is uh, going to come up against Lee of uh, Hong Kong. The just 22 years old, 127th in the world. This could be an opportunity for France to take a lead. But Lee has other things in mind. Loisel just looking to the box there to see if it was worth calling for a video review. There was very glum looks. And So Loazel just asking uh, for halt to be called because his weapon has worked loose and the Allen key, the magic Allen key coming out to tighten up the grip. difference in height between these two men but Lee is a very small target to hit for Loisel Change of weapon now for Pierre Loisel. And nice work from the youngster from Hong Kong.
Choi Chunyin from Hong Kong will come on, as well as Maximilian Chastenay for France. Chastenay, 27 years old, will be his last uh, university ad. Chastanet, well, 87th in the world. He's been in and around that top four of the uh, of the French team. Won a bronze medal in the European Championships last summer in Antalya, did Chastanet. Also took a bronze in Incheon in Korea in the uh, Grand Prix that season. Choi has his way of attacking with his hand held back, the weapon out of the way. Pushed Chastanet right the way back to the end of the piece and then was able to finish to the shoulder of the Frenchman. Chastanet repays the compliment, pushing the Hong Kong fencer back to the edge of the piece and scoring the hit. Choi jumps in with a counter. Well, that wasn't a counter, actually. I think uh, it was Choi's attack. Chastany asking for a video review. coming forward with this unorthodox style. <laughs> Off target lights a few times now. Time a clean attack from Choi. Choi launching a long attack, but it was from too far out, and Shastane able to see it coming, get, got the parry in, hit with a riposte. Choi suddenly accelerating the intensity at the end of that third period. It's taken the score to 15 8, winning that one 5 3. And it's been wins all the way through so far for Hong Kong. 5-4, 5-1, 5-3. 5-3. Lee is coming back on and will face Alexandra Sido. Their substitute, Bibar. Yeah, Bibar is definitely warming up in the wings. I'll tell you that. 
Questions, who will he come on for? It's not Loisel, can't be. This is where the French will hope to regain some of that deficit, catch back up again against Lee, That's the least experienced hey. referee had already called halt. using his reach there to jump in on the counter-attack, hit and then block out. And Lee needs to be, I think, a little bit faster in and out of distance. Get the footwork going a little bit more. very wary of the counter-attack able to construct that point a lot better you didn't quite see it from the beginning of that action but it was good work from the Hong Kong fencer thinking about asking for a video review, looked at the coach, the coach just a shake of the head. and Cedo has that big reach. Cedo going for a flick over the shoulder to the back of Lee. fast counter-attack there from Lee brings Hong Kong to just one point away from going through to the next round and whatever happens France will catch up one point in this fourth leg they will hope it to be more and it is just a one-point catch-up Sido asking for a video review thought that he had the right of way with that off-target attack but Lee has made it to the target score of 20. 
So Hong Kong lead France by six points. So there is a substitution. Chastelaine is not coming on. It's Bibar, Divan Bibar for France. And if you were watching the men's team Epe yesterday, uh, you would have seen Tivan Bibar get himself a gold medal in Epe. He was the reserve for the Epe team. Uh, not needed. Uh, but if he had been needed, then he would have been quite happy to come on and fence a bit of Epe. But he did basically... Um, yeah, he did no work. He didn't fence at all yesterday. But got himself a gold medal as the reserve. Fenced in the individual competition in the men's uh, individual foil. And he has fenced uh, in the early rounds. He, he fenced in the round of 16 today, uh, but then hasn't been used since. But now Tivan Bibar is on. Super sub. Well, we saw the uh, Japanese men's sabre team have to forfeit. Uh, they had an injury against South Korea and they couldn't uh, they couldn't continue. They lost that match, uh, injury withdrawal, and then because of that injury, they couldn't then fence in the bronze medal match. So we had a big long delay. And that's why you need to bring a reserve. Even if it just means getting a foilist to go and fence a bit of uh, saber or epee, it's better than forfeiting the match. Chung Ka Long, the uh, anchor for Hong Kong. You would expect to win this encounter. Biba asking for a video review. And she sticks with her decision. Counter from Biba. 4 2, the score. One more required from uh, Chung. And there it is. So 25 16. It's all looking a bit too easy for Hong Kong China. Loisel on for France. Choi for Loisel will like would would want to go out hard against Choi. And Choi likes to go forward as well. Starting off with a counter attack.
attack from the left to Choi. Well, Jacket had just come a little bit undone. Slow Choi down. <laughs> Frustration for Loazel. So Loisel had already touched his foil there, so he couldn't get it tested. That's what there was going on at that stage. So the referee was not going to test a foil that had already been touched by the fencer after the action. Good defence from uh, Choi there. Choi's attack, Choi's point, and well, no point, a yellow card. Well, in the final, the gold medal match in the individual, it all got a little bit fractious with uh, Pierre Loisel. And he got himself a, a red card. Lost a point. It, that was against uh, Chung Kar Long. And it was actually the same referee, Du Hua Young, that uh, had run out of patience with uh, Loisel. Patience paying off there for Pierre Loisel. It's four apiece in this sixth leg. The uh, lead for Hong Kong remains the same as it was, nine points.
Well, yellow card there for uh, Loisel for throwing himself onto the floor. Well, Loisel's done okay here. If we can keep a, this going, get a couple more points back. The French will at least have a chance. Well, Loisel's on a yellow. He's got to be careful he doesn't get himself another one because that would end it. And it is the fractious sixth is over. Loisel will be back as anchor in the final leg in the ninth. Reversed tactical substitution. Uh, Chastelain is back on again. And Lee for Hong Kong. By the fence is being a little bit cautious here. We're into the final third. And the French do not want Hong Kong to extend their lead. It's going to be hard enough to come back against Choi and Chung. time over a minute of fencing and a first point or registered for Hong Kong so point stands make that two to Hong Kong Scoring with the counter. So Sido worked well against Lee. Won that encounter 6 5. timing to finish the attack there. because Lee had somehow managed to get his arm stuck under the arm of Maximilian Chastanet. Well, 
least quick when he goes forward. One more required for Lee. And there it is. A comfortable lead and good work from Lee from Hong Kong. Lee Yat Long. Well, in the second leg, he lost to a crucial win because it gives a pretty comfortable lead now to Hong Kong as they go into the penultimate leg. Choi is on. And will face Alexandra Sido. Choi starting well. And I think now Choi is going to just throw everything at this. The freedom of having such a big lead is that you can uh, fence freely and attack. Troy's saying, come on, try a counter, try a counter. It's Troy's attack. Nice from Cedar. Cedo thought that he had started the attack first. Cedar scoring with a counter there. Free Mads Herchov is going to have a look at that one of his own volition. And gives it to the French team.
he does have some luck going forwards, but that time, Choi is able to find the power of post. And Hong Kong are one point away from going into the final leg with a commanding lead. Constructed and that is that for the eighth 40 28. The score and Chung Ka Long, the Olympic champion, with a commanding lead over Pierre Loisel. These two met in the final, in the individual. It was close. Loisel doing great work there. Thought that uh, Chung had got the parry, but couldn't land. Again, Chung backing off. And that time, with his foot right on the back line, Chung is able to take the point. Four more for Hong Kong. We'll see them through to the gold medal. Well, Chung is pretty happy being right on the back line. He does some good work in defense here. Toe there glued to the line. And look at that. Well, a wry half smile there. <laughs> well, referee just looking to see if there was a preparation there for Loisel. And that's exactly what she called preparation on Loisel. <laughs> Simple from Chung Ka Long, and Hong Kong are one point away from claiming the gold medal here. Big long attack, and he finished with a flurry. Oh, they've crossed. And Loisel able to hit with uh, the one attempt. Counter from Loisel. Chung backing right off. 
bait is here. What we catch? What we try to catch? So we're not seeing a video review of this last action. There was no point scored. And it was just that... Um, that final whack across the mask there that uh, Chung wasn't very happy about. Wazel coming in with a counter. And last few points have gone to the French. Yellow card shown to Chung. Well, that's that. A scrappy ending to the match, but the lead that Hong Kong had developed throughout this gold medal match was insurmountable and that final period ending five apiece and it Korea and, and, and Hong Kong oh, winning oh, against France 45-33 so the team from Hong Kong China take the gold and France will have to settle for silver the silver for Loazel in the individual competition and silver again today. Van Bibar there, the uh, in the middle.